Hello, and welcome to this short video on how easy it is to upload an existing configuration for a Simicode Pro motor management system into our portal software. Many times a maintenance person will show up to a, a site and maybe there's a in error indication on one of our systems and they want to be able to diagnose what's going on. It's very easy for that engineer to upload the configuration configuration directly into a portal project, new portal project, on his laptop and then go online and diagnose any existing errors. So let's go into that portal software now and show you just how easy it is to do. So here we are in the portal software and I've also connected up my live demo and as you can see I've got a fault condition on the demo here and I want to find out what was the cause of that fault. And I'm going to do that by uploading the configuration of that particular Simicode and then going online and having the Simicode tell me the cause of the fault. So we're going to come in here first and create a new uh, portal project and we'll call it Upload for Test. And now we'll go in and I'll show you the details of how to upload the system and diagnose the fault and remedy it. So the first step is for us to go into the project view for the project. And again, now I'm going to upload the configuration of that faulted Simicode into this project. So I can do that by over here coming on add a new device clicking on online and upload device as a new station. So we'll go out on the network and see if we can find the Simicode and there he is. So we'll select the Simicode and upload from him. Again, this is over the network, so if you had several Simicodes, you can just go pick which Simicode you needed to upload to get the configuration and to diagnose with this software. It's not a point-to-point. -point. This uh, version is the premium version for the Simicode software, which allows you to go directly over the communication network. So once it finishes uploading, it'll add that Simicode as a full device here on the left-hand column. There it is, called Pump1. And now what I can do is I can come down and open up pump one and I want to go find out what's the fault condition. I can do that by double clicking on commissioning and opening up a window here in the center. And now I can come in here and go online with that Simicode. Once it's completely online, I'm going to come in here and select faults. And you'll see here we've got a group fault, but specifically what has happened, I've had an overload condition. So basically I had too much current for too long of a time frame and the motor tripped out on an overload. Now while I'm here, I can also come in and reset that uh, that function as well. So I come in here and click reset. And if I come back to my fault conditions, you can see the fault has also been cleared. So from the software I can diagnose the, what the problem was and I can also externally reset it if something hasn't been configured say in the PLC program uh, to reset it as well. Uh, I can reset it directly from the portal software as well. So just that quick, I've been able to upload a configuration, look at what the specific fault was, and actually being able to remedy the fault. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this short video. Once again, my name is John Burns, uh, Application Consultant for the Electrical Products Group here at Siemens. If you'd like to learn more about Simicode or the control products, please visit us at www.usa.com 
www.siemens.com backslash controls. Thanks for watching. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.